。你好，我是 Mango， 欢迎来到我的频道。Today we are actually doing a vlog on、uh, my recent cruise experience with Royal Caribbean, the Spectrum of the Seas. So today、um, we will be sharing with you guys what we got for our cruise vacation and、um, what activities we did on board. And lastly, what food recommendation we would recommend to you guys? Firstly, I'm going with a family of four, so basically, if you are going for balcony, really you need to stick to the packs that they that they allocate. So, for example, a room is for two packs. Then,、uh, don't try to squeeze in the room because actually the room is quite small. Okay, so for us, we actually. Got、uh, two suites because the balcony to suite upgrade was just a two hundred dollar difference, so we got a suite instead. So,、um, for the suite,、uh, we have a bed and we have the、uh, sofa that can convert into a bed. So, a maximum you can squeeze three people into one suite,、uh, but it's not really recommended if you are getting. A vacation for a family of four. It's better if you get two suites, or you can get two balconies, depending on your budget. So,、um, for the suite, why we want why we wanted to do the two hundred dollar upgrade was because、uh, with the suite you actually get silver dining, which is located at deck fourteen. So deck fourteen, you get a place where you can eat breakfast. Lunch and dinner every day, as long as you're a suite member. So,、uh, the junior suite is good enough to enjoy the silver dining、uh, and a two hundred dollar upgrade, and you get to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day for the entire cruise. It's quite worth it. So we actually got the the suite for our family. Second thing that we got is we got the. Key package for the activities. So if you're actually a key member,、um, this package is actually bought separately、uh, from the suite. Key members actually, you get an envelope like this. So inside the envelope, when you receive it the first day on your cruise vacation, you will actually have、um, pre-assigned activities for you and. Uh, for your certain time slot. So for key members, you're actually like the VIP of the cruise.、Uh, you don't have to queue for anything.、Um, basically, you save a lot of time when you just purchase the key package. So one thing to note is when you're order- when you're ordering the key package online before your cruise,、uh, do check the prices because it will change. And it will get cheaper once it is closer to your start date. So take note of that when you're purchasing the key package. So actually, other than the key package and the suite booking, we actually also purchased the unlimited refreshment package and also the unlimited dining package. It really depends on what's your goal in the cruise. If you are down for experience, you should get the key package. So if you are actually okay with eating the silver lounge every day, um, and basically just just eat it every day, you can actually save on the unlimited dining purchase because the unlimited dining purchase you are free and easy to eat. Whatever and how much you want in Chop Squirrel Wonderland and Jamie's Italian Restaurant. So do take note if you want to eat in these three restaurants, um, on a daily basis, and you don't want to eat in the Silver Lounge, you should really go for the unlimited dining package because, uh, each meal at Each of the restaurants costs about maybe eighty dollars. If you get the unlimited dining, you can actually save on quite a bit. Like for us, we bought the unlimited dining, 
at $170 each. Um, and we ate a total of $300 added together. So we went to Trump Squirrel, we went to um, Jamie's Italian, we went to Wonderland, we went to Izumi. So all of those added together for a total of our entire cruise vacation is about $300 plus per person and we only paid 170 but the downside is you will grow very fat and then you have to exercise so now that we're done talking about the things that you purchase before you go on cruise we will talk about the activities that are available in the spectrum of the seas so if you are totally new to going onto the cruise ship you should actually download the app called the the royal caribbean app um you can find it in the app store so basically here you would see a lot of the places that you can go and the timing that they have so it is really um it's really good if you're down for all the activities but for us because we are a family it's quite difficult to do a lot of activities as a family if you're going on a family vacation uh, most of the time you're eating and you're eating all the time so we didn't really go to much activities basically what we went was we went to do rock climbing um because we bought the key package they have a reserve slot for us so we went to rock climbing we went to watch the show girl we went to play the bumper car which is quite quite popular like you can see um whenever you search royal caribbean you see their bumper cars yeah, it's, it's really fun. So, um, we also went for their archery. But take note for the bumper cars in the archery, uh, those that are stated in the app, first come, first serve basis, basis, you make sure you go there early to queue because there's a lot, there's a, there's a lot of people queuing for, for the activity. So, other than the activities that were named previously, you can also go for the flow rider which are more of water sports but if you're going for a flow rider please make sure that you you bring your swimsuit and it's better to get the full piece those for surfing when you're doing the flow rider don't don't wear bikini so once you are finished with the with the flow rider you can actually head over to the solarium where you can enjoy the jacuzzi over there yeah, so usually when you're planning your trip here in Royal Caribbean, maybe you plan one day for water sports and one day for the dry activities so that um, you don't have to change up of your swimsuit all the time. So for all the activities that I stated, most of the activities are located in Deck 15. So this includes the floor rider, the rock climbing, the archery, table tennis, and bumper cars, they're all located at deck 15. So, um, but then make sure to just separate your water activity and your land activities for the day. Okay, so now we are done with all the activities and saying, I'm talking about all the activities in the cruise ship. Let's talk about food. Woo! So, for food, we actually went to several restaurants because we are we purchased the unlimited dining experience here in the spectrum of the sea. Yeah, so for the several restaurants that we went, we went to Chop's Grill, we went to Izumi, we went to um, Jamie's Italian, we went to Wonderland. So these are the four main restaurants that we went to for our entire cruise vacation so basically what we did was we booked lunch and dinner per day so basically we went to most of the restaurants except for teppanyaki because teppanyaki have to pay extra which are which is out of the out of the unlimited dining package 
So for teppanyaki, actually for Spectrum of the Seas, it is a restaurant that is not available in the Quantum Ship. So if you are wanting to have a full dining experience, uh, you can head over to the teppanyaki here because it's not available in another ship, just in Spectrum, only in Spectrum. Yeah. Go to the tasty part. Talking about the food, in Chops Grill, you can actually order their famous um, ribeye. It's a huge piece of beef with like nice marble patterns, and then the meat is just so tender, so juicy, with a layer of fats on it. Like, oof. That's the that's the nicest one that I really highly recommend the the ribeye for the Chops Grill. Um, for the Jamie's Italian, um, the the dish that I would recommend would be the seafood linguine. Uh, but make sure that um, you can take spicy because it's actually quite spicy. So the seafood linguine has a special taste to it because it's mixed with so many seafood. And also it's what the waiter waitress recommended me. So I just got it in Jamie's Italian. Um, for Wonderland... Basically, when you go into Wonderland, um, you just have to order the main dish because the rest of the dish is tailor-made to you by the chef. So you don't have to choose anything other than the main dish, uh, which saves us a lot of time. Yeah. And lastly, for Izumi, um, I actually really like the spider... The spider California roll. It's soft shell crab in the middle and then it's several makis um, on a plate. So it's really nice. Uh, one of the better ones in Izumi that I ate. So if you're going to rank the restaurants as per my own experience, I would go for Chops Grill if you are going to eat a lot because the portions is really big and the service is fantastic you'll never regret going there because you're just treated like a queen so my second choice would be wonderland and the main reason why it's second because um you you, you can't order what you want to eat i mean you can but then there's no surprise to it so um, that's the main reason why I put it second But One of the best dishes that I ate from Wonderland Was their pork that's Their pork belly And also their fish for main course uh, I'll write down the entire name over here To let you know what dish they are So these two Are one of the best that I ate uh, the, thing, the thing that I didn't eat was the beef uh, so I don't know how it tastes like But these two are quite good for the main dish These are like why I ranked it second Is because the taste is just exceptional For the fish, it tastes awesome Because it doesn't have the, the, the smell that you know those, those usual fish you get It doesn't have the very uh, The fishy, fishy smell to it um, not only that, the sauce is made by four different kinds of mushrooms So the, the taste of the mushrooms are really nice together with the, with the fish So the entire time that I was eating it, I was like mm, mm, mm. So it's really good um, The main course are all fantastic The appetizers are okay and the desserts are exceptional. You not not only do you get the your taste buds happy, you also get to film some very amazing magic with their dessert. So highly recommended Wonderland. Go try it out. So for third restaurant. That I would recommend uh, That would be Jamie's Italian 
uh, for the fact that their dish are quite nice but I'm not so sure about the service in Jamie's Italian let me know how you feel about Jamie's Italian when you go on to the cruise down in the comments below because you know people will be asking me then you know might as well might as well we share our experiences together <laughs> the, the more the better yeah okay so for Jamie's Italian um, the waitress is quite fast when it, when she, when she was serving the food so uh, basically basically we're, we're, we're not even done eating and then she's clearing up the tables and so yes dessert uh, not a big fan because I prefer all-rounded service and food kind of experience so Jamie's Italian is not for me uh, that's why it's ranked third lastly I will rank Izumi um, for the fact that uh, most of the dishes you can find it elsewhere in Singapore like any kind of sushi restaurants uh, they save they, they, they serve almost the same food like the spider maki that I mentioned previously that was quite nice you can also find it in um, other sushi places in Singapore so nothing really exceptional about Izumi so if you're looking to give any restaurant a pass you can give Izumi a pass uh, for their service wise their service is is mm, not exactly that fantastic that's what I would say because uh, maybe they're understaffed at that point I'm not sure sure but probably they're understaffed when we went so let me know your experience with Izumi down in the comments below if you like Izumi feel free to share like what are the good stuff about it for me not so much don't really like Izumi um, for the fact that I can find their food elsewhere in Singapore so not exactly interesting for me so now we're done with what packages to buy when you come on to the cruise what are the experiences that you can go for um, what food you can go for in the Royal Caribbean uh, let's talk about the overall experience here in the Royal Caribbean cruise the overall service that we got from Royal Caribbean was really fantastic because you get greeted almost everywhere by their crew members here on the ship um, even their, their cleaners are quite nice they even introduce themselves to us and then they mentioned that you know anything let them know and then they taught us how to use the balcony and um, you know the air condition how it works with the balcony door so apparently if you are using the balcony the air conditioner will will close by itself so they would they would really um, guide you through every step of the way here in Royal Caribbean so I guess the service here overall is really great uh, the food is exceptional I love the food I really love the food because because I was just thinking can I bring it back home to Singapore like, I'll just bring the entire restaurant back home so anyways good service and good food and because we booked the junior suite we had quite a spacious place here to stay in um, the entire experience was fantastic um, and I have no complaints about it uh, but just make sure when you are here on Royal Caribbean uh, there are some things that I need to let you know before you come on board things that you really need to bring otherwise I don't really know how you're going to do any activities without it. yeah so first thing that you need to bring is you need to bring a toothbrush uh, I overheard some people in the lift when we were 
walking you know up and down in the cruise ship i heard that they don't have a toothbrush so the same thing in the junior suite we don't have the toothbrush here so make sure you need to bring your toothbrush when you're on board make sure you bring your toothbrush then the second thing that you need to bring is you need to bring your swimwear like your bikini and your overall swimwear you need to bring it here i'm not sure if they sell it but uh if you don't have it you, you you'll be missing out on the flow rider and the jacuzzi which are very nice places to go and the last thing that you need to bring is you need to bring your sports shoes yeah for me i didn't bring my sports shoes so i can borrow from my mom uh but the best is to bring your own sports shoes they do sell sports shoes here but i'm not sure how much it costs because i merely just borrowed my mom's sports shoes to to do the uh activities like um going to the bumper car and then doing archery for rock climbing you don't have to have sports shoes but just make sure you have your socks on so these are the three things that you need to take note when you're going on cruise because i'm not sure whether you can buy or not and another one another important thing to note when you are going on board especially on boarding day uh, make sure that you don't bring any food onto the ship anyways now we have come to the last of our video i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up it'll help a lot um and i'll see you in the next vacation